In this episode of Boat Tech TV, we're looking at Sigma Drive shaft couplings by Brunton's propellers. In this episode 7 of Boat Tech TV, I'm going to give an in-depth look at Sigma Drive. Full disclosure, however, before I start, I'm actually the US agent and dealer for Brunson's propellers, and this is one of my products. So let's move on. Brunton's Sigma Drive is an effective anti-noise and anti-vibration solution. Sigma Drive is unique. It's able to resist propeller thrust when installed as a standalone coupling directly from the shaft to the output flange on the engine's transmission. Sigma Drive reduces and even eliminates vibrations that originate from an imperfect alignment between the propeller shaft and the engine, and it compensates up to three degrees in all directions, thereby guaranteeing trouble-free life for all the associated components. The system can also be installed using thrust bearings. It can be fitted to V-drive installation and provides an ideal solution for direct drive couplings. It's a compact in size and it can be fitted to up to 1300 horsepower and works in line or out of alignment. It's easy, it's quick to fit and usually without slipping the vessel and without the need to modify the propeller shaft. It contains no rubber bearings and is built from a special alloy that ensures a long life with little maintenance. In short, it's a highly cost effective solution requiring little or no modifications to the vessel when you install it. So how does Sigma Drive work? Well. Sigma drive consists of a constant velocity joint which allows the propeller shaft to rotate without transmitting the engine's movements or vibrations. The usual method of connecting an engine with a propeller involves three fixed points. The propeller mount, the mechanical seal and of course the engine. And all are capable of creating noise and vibration which is easily transferred and radiated throughout the hull. With the Sigma drive coupling fitted in place of a standard coupling the whole system from the gearbox to the propeller instantly becomes more flexible. The Sigma Drive coupling is able to correct any misalignment uh, between the propeller shaft and the gearbox by as much as 6 degrees in total sweep. The engine vibrations are significantly reduced or completely eliminated and the propeller can rotate naturally with no vibrations or no noise transmitted to the hull. So under perfect alignment, the Sigma Drive will replace the shaft coupler and simply bolt onto the existing output flange of the transmission. This then adds flexibility to the drivetrain for the engine to move and to vibrate, as well as for the hull to twist in a seaway or when the sails are set. The Sigma Drive is able to dampen the vibrations and handle the misalignments with ease, giving a quiet and safe operation. Remember, all of the loads you place in the transmission, either in plane or out of plane, wear the bearings and wear the seals. And so a reduction in this movement and load on the engine is also reducing your wear on the engine. The drive is designed to handle a 3 degree offset either vertically or horizontally, which if you can imagine that a 3 degree offset to port is going to sweep a cone of 6 degrees in total, becomes very significant. The unit, as you may have seen, is also hollow and it uses a clamp style system to grip the shaft. Uh, this is very standard in the commercial world, but it's uh, very much a novelty in the, in the sailboat world. And it gives a good 360 degree grip on the shaft rather than a point load that you would get from a keyway. Um, it's not meant as a drive saver, and I must stress that. The clamp is actually a taper lock collar that bolts onto the shaft, and then the drive bolts directly onto the output flange of the transmission. Now there's no thrust bulkhead required on the 55 and the 100 models. Um, this unit is all metal construction and it's able to take the thrust load unlike the rubber style of our competitors. Remember that the thrust of the propeller is transferred to the hull and pushes it along from either the thrust bulkhead or your engine mounts. Now this is a little bit sobering when you think how abused the engine mounts really are. So the Sigma Drive transfers the thrust load to the engine mounts and pushes the boat along very safely in this manner. The most standard configuration is the SD series with a common SD55 coupler for shafts up to one and a half inches, 35 millimeters. Um, it's a compact unit, it's ideal for lots of sailboats and is a good option when a PSS is installed and the shaft real estate is not too much. There is no need to trim the shaft, you simply remove the key, clean it up and fit it into the correct taper lock collar, clamp and go. The common flange size for the ST55, as this is here, is a 4-inch diameter flange. 
If the transmission has a 5 inch flange or a V-drive configuration, you'll need an adapter flange. Now two of the most common flanges adapters are ADF1 and ADF2. Adapter flange 1 converts a 5 inch to a 4 inch flange so that an ST55 can be used if the torque rating is acceptable rather than the larger and more expensive SD100. The adapter flange 2 allows for the Sigma drive to be bolted onto a V-drive system. In this engine configuration, the output flange of the transmission typically has tapped bolt holes and there's no clearance behind the flange for the bolts. As the Sigma drive also has tapped holes, the adapter flange behaves as almost like a doubler plate. It bolts to the Sigma drive and has captive bolts that can be bolted to the flange and fit the propeller. Super easy. For applications when the thrust load is too much for the engine mounts to absorb, a thrust bulkhead must be introduced and a different system has to be used. This system is the STS system. Oh, there we go. Uh, the STS system uses a thrust bulkhead system and an intermediate shaft to transfer the thrust to the hull without transferring the noise and the vibration from any misalignment. It's worth noting at this point that if the shaft is actually bent, signal drive may help, it'll help a little, but the vibrations will never be taken away until the shaft is either straightened or if it's replaced. The last option is a really special one and an area where vibration can shorten a vessel's life significantly. For a water jet system that's shown in the picture there, at speed the engine will be bouncing around and putting a lot of power down. This is then driving an impeller in a water jet system also bouncing around. And this is a really specialised commercial application and one where Sigma Drive can be a game changer in killing the vibrations from the two dynamic systems. Okay, so what's in a Sigma Drive? Well, let's take a look. Now looking at the image there, you can see the taper lock core on the right and this slides into a similar taper on the ball gimbal system on the middle there with the four ball bearings uh, just, just coming out of it. And this is important because the faces of this is what takes the thrust load. The balls hold the, um, the, the unit and that's really what gives it its moment and gives it the, uh, the effect of a constant velocity joint. The whole unit is uh, bathed in grease. Uh, there's no maintenance required for it. You can see there's a couple of O-ring seals in there. Um, we do recommend that um, as you, if you're doing big haul outs, you can take off the front face of the drive um, and just put a little bit more grease in. But the day to day, week to week, month to month, it doesn't require any, any uh, maintenance. Now installation for the Sigma drive is relatively straightforward. The hardest part is often just breaking the old coupler and getting the uh, flange off from the shaft side. The flange on the transmission side will stay. So we just break the seal, we back the shaft off. Um, once we've cleaned up the shaft, it, it doesn't have to be trimmed, it doesn't have to have anything done to it. Um, you would open up the taper lock collar, sometimes just a, a screwdriver inside a little bit and just slide it onto the shaft. Um, to the required amount that's uh, specified in the instructions and then you would slide it back into the units fit all the bolts and then go around with the bolts and tighten them up that's pretty much it um, the alignment obviously you would lock tight the bolts as well the alignment for the um, for the signal drive is best done with the old coupler um, before you've put the signal drive on you can see here however that the the drive makes an angle this, this coupler makes an angle with this plate here. So you can actually check it for trueness with an electric protractor or something similar to that in future. So you, there, is, there is a way to check the alignment um, once you've had the drive. But what most people do is they keep the old hard coupler and they'll pop it on and just get it somewhere close. And that's really what Sigma Drive needs is, is that kind of um, fitting. And finally, I just want to give a, a little hat tip to a, a blog which I follow. Uh, it's called, called svprism.com. It's by a chap called John Neely. Uh, he actually bought one of our Sigma drives. Um, just we didn't know what he was going to do. And he's done a, a really, really lovely review on his website. You can Google it, SV Prism and Sigma drive, and it'll come up. And it's about a 15 minute, 20 minute video with a very honest and very um, open um, analysis of the Sigma drive, how it works, how to install it, and any problems that he had when it was fitting it. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's received very, very favorable comments. Uh, it's very, very worth checking it out. So anyway, this is just a little uh, review. We're going to do another in-depth um, review of the Sigma drive where I'm going to take one apart and show you how to install it, put the studs in and the taper, the collars and all that sort of stuff and really get to grips with it. But just as a, a gentle overview for Boat Tech TV, we wanted to just really set the stage for that. Um, so my name is Dr. Roger Sampson. Um, as I said at the beginning, I'm the US agent for Brunton's Propellers. 
Um, we're based in Virginia Beach. Um, we sell the Sigma Drive, we also sell Verifold, and we sell Autoprop. And we do this little TV show every Friday to put across some interesting tidbits and help promote our products as well. Um, speaking of promoting, shamelessly, um, we're also going to be at the Annapolis Boat Show, which is um, quickly approaching. That's going to be um, April 20th to the 22nd. Uh, my booth number is booth number C12. Um, we're just by Ego Alley. It's a really, really nice place. We're actually outside. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next week.